Welcome back, Jared with Team Montana, 20 miles from the manufacturer in Elkhart, Indiana. Behind me, I got this big, beautiful 2022 Montana 3781RL. It is my absolute favorite. Um, stick around. By halfway through, I'm going to go through a couple of things that make it my favorite. So let's go check it out. This is the 3781 with the Legacy Package Upgrade and the Full Body Paint. This color is cobalt and it is my favorite. Nice and dark, it's got some silvers and grays, a little bit of a blue stripe in there along with some white accents. 7,000 pound axles with 8,000 pound leaf springs, G-range tires, 16 inch rims, four seasons, warranty for full time living, number one selling fifth wheel for 23 or 24 years in a row. And we've been the number one dealership for the last three in a row with the Montana brand. So we take a lot of pride in handling this product. Absolutely beautiful paint job. Got the slide toppers on top straight from the factory. It's right, so over here on your pastor storage with the legacy package, you get the power cord reel. All right, 12 gallon hot uh, water heater. So it's gas and electric, 35,000 BTU furnace. Over here, you've got all of your connections. In your pass-through storage, so we've got the um, solar controller, which is that blue device there by Victron Energy. So um, this is a 400i system, so it's going to have two 400-watt solar panels on it. It's got this upgraded 30-amp controller that you see right here. Download the app, you connect your phone to it, and it's got super, super detailed data of exactly what's happening between the controller and the solar panels. And then also you have a... Um, battery device on here called the smart shunt that will tell you exactly what is happening with your batteries more than just what your in command system will do above this um, controller you have a 2000 watt inverter so that's going to run your refrigerator as you're traveling down the road and it's going to provide you with another four more outlets throughout the trailer that you can access or have power to um, off of the batteries so it converts the um, uh, the battery power into direct DC power all right so on the other side over here there's something really cool I want to show you but before I do that I want to finish walking around showing you this beautiful paint job nice frameless windows all but two windows open on this coach and the two are gonna be this one in the kitchen and then the other one up in the actually that one does open on the other side is the bed slide Let's see, you've got the ladder on the back, rear fiberglass cap, 3,000 pound towing hitch with a four point accessory to plug in your lights and brakes. Up above, you've got the camera. Um, you also have the side mount cameras for your blind spots. Two awnings on the slide out on this model. You can order these dual frame, dual frame, dual pane, frameless windows. All right, you've got your outside speakers up at the top there. I'm going to show you something cool that I just did notice that they started doing on these uh, Montana. So I'm going to open up this pass-through storage. All right, so you have your in-command system here in the middle, which is all the brains to your touchscreen panel. It makes this a smart RV. But the thing that I wanted to show you in here that really um, just makes me have a better, more confidence, I guess you could say, in this product is that they listen to their customers and what they want. So this is your surge protector transfer switch. So if you have any issues, it looks like it's all accessible right here. Whereas in the past, you had to actually take this wall out, which you still might. I haven't even inspected this yet. Um, I'm sure you do to get into it. But anyway, you had to take this all the way out, and then there would be a nest of wiring back behind this wall. And then back in there, connected to your steps, was going to be your transfer switch. Um, so it's nice to see that they're moving it to where people can actually access into it if they need pasture storage is heated and cooled a lot of the time i get people kind of freaked out because you can actually where those water and, and um, drains go into through the floor if these baggage doors are open and you look underneath the sink you can see directly down in here and see daylight and that texture looks like ground and yeah it's designed that way so just uh don't fear montana does an excellent job on the side here, we've got TV prep, so you can put a 40-inch TV in there. And then you also have vacuum, central vacuum access. 
looks like you've got um, a quick connect here prep for a quick connect if you want to add a gas stove on the outside six point hydraulic leveling it is auto level push the button once walk away and it's ready to go industry leading um, warranty here so we got the one year front to back covers anything and everything and then a three-year structure warranty so it's going to cover all of your walls slides suspension components and then we've got the TST tire TPMS system so it's going to give you your tire pressure reading also going to give you your tire uh, temperature we've got the screen defender here so it's a metal mesh going to assist in keeping the critters from scratching up your screen Again, this is the 400i solar system. So it's got 400 watts of solar to power everything. 3781RL with the legacy package. However, there's a national shortage. So if you've been shopping around for a while, you've probably heard that there are no longer disc brakes as an option. So unfortunately, we do have drum brakes, not the disc, but that's okay because the drum brakes have been around for a long, long time. All the other travel tra or all the other trailers that I offer here have the drum brakes and they do a good job, just not as good as you know having disc brakes. So um, that's something more I could do easily down the road. Um, it's just a matter of you know if you're a handy person, it's it's just time consuming. Okay, now that we are inside the trailer, this is what makes it my most favorite out of all the models. That Keystone Montana offers. Look at this space in here. All right, so for one, I love that right when you step into the trailer, you're not walking into a wall with a control board or a cabinet. You walk in and you just see this. Ah. All right, absolutely beautiful. So with those stairs over there, not only does it change how you funk, how you flow right when you walk in, but it really changes the feel and the dynamic of this layout, having those stairs over there. All right, the second thing that I love is how big this space is right here, because again, it opens up the trailer. It makes it feel like it's a lot bigger, like almost like you're at home. And then you've got the bigger island, so you basically have an extended one of these panels here they used to give you two trash cans but it's nice to see that they were thinking a little bit more on this they give you a, a trash can here and then just more storage that's what this one is all about so you got storage all the way underneath of this kitchen sink and that's the third thing that i love about this montana model is going to be this uh, storage space so you've got all kind of storage along the bottom here ton of it on top we've got some above your television over above your trifold sofa even over here this is rare to have it above your theater seating in a rear living layout because a lot of the times you'll see people designers want to lift that window up and give you even more daylight coming in so it's nice to see that they are still putting more storage in here so while we're talking about storage, the fourth thing that I love is that your washer dryer prep is down on your main level. So you don't have to worry about uh, squeezing between the bed and the closet to get into your washer or your dryer. And then this control center, motion sensor lights all throughout. So these are all of your switches and fun stuff. New touch screen from in command. It's telling me low voltage right now because I'm actually running this trailer just off of the, the solar panels like I did the other day. So there's no battery hooked up to it, nothing. I just have, you know, Mother Nature giving us light right now. Pretty awesome. Prep for your third air conditioner. All right, onto your refrigerator. This is the 18 cubic foot fridge from GE. Again, this is going to be powered by your 2000 watt inverter when you're traveling down the road. Um, and that power comes from your batteries, which is from either your solar or from your truck connected to the trailer. So at all times, this residential fridge will run. And then when you get to the campsite, you can either hook into the shore power, use your battery, maybe throw some lithium batteries in there, um, or a generator. 
or we could even do the super solar for you which will run the entire trailer off of 1200 watts of solar and 600 amp hour battery power so just give me a holler and uh, we will run through all that because I could talk about these things all day folks <laughs> absolutely love them and this is the other part that I love that the slide is on the opposite of a normal side of a trailer that you see typically you walk in here and you turn left is the bed so it's, it's just really cool that you step in here you get your king size bed to your right hand side also your um, slide out box outside is about six and a half feet tall so you can easily walk underneath those and not have to worry about hitting your head dual vanity sink with a ton of storage again so the cool thing is that these are full extension drawers soft clothes obviously but there's I mean that's the entire uh, size of this counter space all the way back storage same with this medicine cabinet here you got the towel hanger nice window there that actually opens up you've got the beautiful shower I like that they did away excuse me I like that they did away with the kind of textured glass because it really opens up this bathroom just makes it feel bigger got the skylight up here nice speaker so you can be jamming while you're getting ready for your crazy night out at the campfire <laughs> all right lots of linen storage sorry let me adjust that so you can see in there a little bit better that's every bit of two and a half feet back in there so a ton of storage space for your towels and I have no idea honestly what you would put in there but there's just storage forever in this trailer very nice strong magnets as you could hear them clicking and knocking since I'm still talking about storage his and hers and probably hers in the middle too 32 inch television daytime nighttime roller shades on these windows so back in here there's your daytime and then your nighttime and I do like that they put these bulky um, covers here so you don't have to worry about the sun intruding in because that is my biggest pet peeve I cannot sleep if there's one trace of light coming in all right CPAP shelves 110 outlets and USB as well um, air conditioning system both air conditioners are 15,000 BTU whisper quiet with a built-in filtration system this is an H-Track um, HVAC system so it goes into H right so there's two main tracks and then cross members um, that gives you the best airflow that comes out of these um, they also redesigned the vents when I say they I'm referring to the Keystone engineers uh, a bunch of smart guys that uh, test and test and test and test until this stuff just makes more sense um, so that's another reason that Keystone is the one number one manufacturer they do it right and they spend the time invest in the product so there you have it that's why I love this model um, hopefully someday I will buy one of these and see you guys at some rallies uh, we have the rally here in September at the 4-H Fairgrounds in Elkhart. Actually, it's in Goshen, but it's Elkhart County Fairgrounds. And I uh, hope to see you guys there if you're part of the Owners Club, Montana Owners Club. Um, if you're not, join the Facebook group at least. There's a lot of good information on those groups telling you how to use these trailers. A lot of good live feedback. And... That's all I got, folks. Absolutely love this one. Please give me a holler if you have any questions about the solar information. Um, I did forget to run over that this is the cottage white upgrade, so it's the white cabinets here in the kitchen. And that mandates that we have the brown um, called bourbon sofa in theater seating. So there you go. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.